Hello everyone, welcome back once again. I hope you are doing great and this vlog will be more related towards the mobile industry and I will be explaining you about the angles. Uh, angles are mostly used in the tire changing process and this video was captured in a tire changing, one of the tire changing shop and I captured it and after explaining you about these angles, I will continue with the machines used while doing the tire changing process. So yeah, over the period of time, like having been driven off this vehicle, uh, some after some kilometers, it, the tire needs to be changed uh, because of the wear of the tires. And during this process, the most important uh, task is to balance the wheel and align the wheels because uh, this plays an important role. For the long time, while you are running the vehicle, the, the tires look straight in the forward direction but it's not perfect and the, the angles will change throughout the period and yeah due to this you can after aligning and balancing you can avoid the accidents as well as uh, the wear of the tire is also reduced so yeah basically a surprising thing is like every vehicle has its own angles predefined angles the caster angle camber angle and toe angles and these are the three main angles in wheel alignment process and they usually watch those angles and set accordingly to uh, like to the defined values so yeah when whenever you go to the tire changing process uh, they take your name registration number and chassis number and they just put the name of the car and everything the case angles are shown on the screen and they are they adjust accordingly by uh, placing the sensors in the wheels we'll have the forward tires so that we get the correct values and there are three different angles those are camber angle caster angle and toe angles so coming to the first part that is camber angle so here it is differentiated into two parts like positive angle camber angle and negative camber angle so this is perfectly visible when we all the camber angle is nothing but whenever you make a corner like when you turn around the corner and that time the wheel just moves towards right and left and that time the inner tires as well as outer tires and there is a frictional force exerted between a road and tire but the main force acted is centripetal force so basically the centripetal force is acting as a vehicle and that time whenever you do the corner the outer tire exerts the most force so here negative camber which is like camber angle which increases the cornering performance so example if there is zero degree camber angle then it goes to, like uh, there is a straight path and uh, that whenever you turn towards the corner that time if it has a more camber angle it will have the earlier uh, most frictional force like outer wheels will have definitely the higher frictional force compared to the inner wheels and yeah at that time uh, the outer tires will exert more normal, normal force that is the highest normal force and due to this there is there will be deformation which is always taking place on the outer side so yeah to maintain and maximize the highest frictional force to the outer wheels it is kept as negative camber angle so that, uh, that the tires won't get directly out or it won't deform and yeah we can avoid the wear of the tires by adjusting the proper camber angle so coming to the next angle that is the caster angle so like steering axis and over that uh, steering wheel those front and right wheels are adjusted they continuously rotate over that steering axle uh, and yeah uh, like there will be always uh, inclination between the steering angle steering axle and the wheel so uh, you won't find any hub like directly vertical so that's the thing uh, apart from this the, this angle or the inclination angle is known as caster angle you all might be you knowing that whenever you turn the vehicle and leave the steering wheel it comes back to the straight position 
that is the normal position center and center position and automatically coming back is the principle of this caster angle so the ability is by the uh, adjusting the caster angle so coming to the next part that is the toe angle is the most critical angle in this alignment uh, thing so it like zero degree toe angle gives the minimum wear so when we, whenever we say that it has a perfect steering like it just swiftly changes the lane immediately that time that the, the d1 that is the inner the inner wheel should be should turn more out than the outer wheel that is the toe out condition is there so that is toe out condition means even d1 is greater than the d2 but it is highly like it it gives a high response so that good in terms of safety immediately turning of the wheel like the the inner wheels turned exactly immediately but uh, outer wheels also get more turn so that time the the vehicle is responsive but whenever coming towards the passenger vehicles d2 that is the toe in is used for safety purpose that is the straight line stability we can achieve by keeping the toe in condition this part comes here is uh, the removal of tires and this is a tire removal machine on which a tire is placed the rings are locked in this four clamping devices and the help of this spring like piston the tire is extracted from the frame this this is like a really great method because if we remove the tire by just inserting any hard rectangular shape material then addition of the rim is done and the removal of the tire and this is how a tire is removed then this a rim is taken out from this clamping devices and the next it is transferred to the next step that is a wheel balancing the balancers are there like uh, the weights are there uh, and on by placing this uh, rings we can get to know like how much uh, weight is needed to be added so accordingly we can add the weights and adjust the uh, and balance the weight so these weights are in the range of like 10 15 5 grams 50 grams sometimes it may come to 15 grams too and this is a uh, this weights are directly given at by the computer only so whatever the weights they mention and then we can add on the inner side of so this is how the old tires are removed with the help of the arm see how easily it gets removed and there is no damage to the alloys the alloy remains safe so this is how the scrap or any dust particles or anything which is applied on the inner side of the alloy is removed and with the scrap paper and then it is fitted on that round shape bar and the bolts are adjusted so that it won't come out this is tightened and later on this wheel see now how the wheel is turned over this and on the screen the clearly unbalanced part is there on that we can add the weight see right now there is one 0 gram and another is 15 gram so we have to add the 15 gram weights and there is a scap there is a laser over that rim so on that exact position after scrubbing and cleaning out the weights are added directly placing on that scanner it gives the accurate results because there are other meta methods also like uh, the probe is there so adjusting like that becomes quite difficult but the laser is like easy and accurate method see how the screen is showing okay the wheel is okay like this all the four wheels are adjusted that is the wheel balancing is done
the next uh, process is clamping the sensors over the alloys and uh, locking it. We have to change the front uh, front tires and adjust the reverse wheels also according to the sensors. Like they do have the sensors and the other cameras which are over the wall keeps looking at the those and getting those values from the sensors. And likewise, the the values which are observed on the screen. See now the rear left tire was on the red side, but it got now green. So that is it is it has been adjusted. Like this, they turn the wheels, right slide the wheels, and you may easily get those values like where minus. So literally like the values are less, it's not over exceeding or like now the minus one degree is there, it is it will be adjusted and all will get green. Like this the adjustment is done. The machines are really very accurate and yeah we can trust on these machines by doing this we get the values and the predefined values are already set into the uh, computer software so the guy goes down under the bed of the chassis and he adjusts the the, v, the nuts over of the a arms and we will have wheel hub so up, so there on the screen after getting the green and uh, the accurate the defined values they will leave it like this the adjustment is done this is known as like wheel alignment the caster chamber and toe angles are adjusted through these sensors and I think this is done. You now see on the screen like a chart is there which shows the, the user report and they fill out the air in the air in the tires and they lift out the vehicle. That's it. This is the most easy and convenient method to keep the tires as well as keep the tires in good condition and yeah, I hope you like this video. Thank you.